Hi Scorpio, it's Elle. I hope all is well and you're having a fabulous start to your holiday week, weekend, whatever it is. I feel like my table is looking like a hot mess. Again, I just did a whole damn reading for you guys and it was honestly uh, just not the energy I wanted to put out there. It was good, it was bad, and, and it had to do with um, we're just going to do a little recap since I'm not going to post it, but, uh, hold on a minute. Well, let me move this. It's in the, <laughs> I was cleaning out the basket. Hold on. You need to guys know I moved and we're in kind of a smaller space now too. So I have a bunch of stuff still. I have not found a home for, and I was digging through looking for some different cards. So that looks nasty on the floor behind me, so I need to move it. <laughs> sorry. I can't do all the clutter in my video. I'm sorry. My house is clean, I promise. I just pulled that out of a... I'm, I have a box that has some pictures that I haven't... I need a new bookshelf. And then my cards and uh, pictures and tarot cards and stuff. So I was trying to get different deck or two have been called to use some different decks. So Scorpio, I feel like you feel confused as fuck. All right. <laughs> Recap last video. Uh, there's some competitive energy. Like, yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to win. I'm ready to compete. Feeling really drawn to someone's energy feeling, um, like, right. I'm down for the, the competitive energy, whatever it is, right? Down to, I feel like for some of you, it might be like winning somebody's affection, right? So you've just gotten together, you want them to choose you, you're just starting to date someone, whatever it is, you want someone to choose you, okay? So I feel like you don't have to worry about that, but the recap of that reading is, there's somebody in the background <laughs> playing, right? Whether it's somebody connected to you or somebody connected to this person that doesn't want to let go of a situation. Now, that person cheated on whoever it was. So somebody really, um, the message that I was getting was the competition is, there is no competition, right? So somebody's having to work 10 times as hard or two to when, whether it's your person's side or your side, right? There, it's, there's, there's basically no competition, right? So um, towards the end of the reading, we got kind of dirty. I feel like, you know, the warning and the message was somebody may be willing to play dirty or want to play dirty, and you're just gonna have to stay focused and ultimately choose you if it gets to that point and not stick around for low vibrational shit or be tempted to dive in head first into the low and <laughs> dirty dirty shit if you know because you want to win so bad basically was the message that I was getting so warning trigger warning I don't know that message you need to get out but I don't feel like we need to do a whole reading about it okay so before we get started don't forget to like subscribe comment share share your love and support as always please keep it positive um if you would like a personal, that information is going to be in the description box below. How to reach me, how to make a payment. I am this week going to be running a special. So I'm going to do 20 minutes or no, not 20 minutes, 15 minutes, two questions for $20 for the next three days. So take advantage of it while you can. Uh, Venmo Cash App, my email is all in the description box below. Make a payment first, then send me an email. Um, yeah, so regular readings are still the same price that is addressed in the description box as well. If you'd like to donate, donations are much appreciated. That information also, my GoFundMe link, um, Venmo Cash App is also in the description box below. Thank you to anybody that has already donated. We love and appreciate you so, so much. So let's just hop into it, Scorpio. Um, there's definitely somebody trying to jump in and ruin your happiness, but the good news is there's a mutual liking between you and someone else. And so no matter what kind of happens here, there might be a tower. I do feel like with the Statue of Liberty drowning here, uh, somebody could feel like they're drowning here in this competition with you. They're not gonna win, here's failure. Seven of Pentacles, this says failure at the bottom, right? So have patience because whatever, 
with the Ten of Swords, somebody trying to ruin your happiness in some way, shape, or form. I feel like whatever somebody was trying to do, it just wasn't working. Like, you didn't care anyway, or... I don't know. Somebody could be trying to just sabotage things and it's like they're just not going to, it's not going to work. Whatever they're attempting to do isn't going to work. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the reading and see what's going on with you guys. Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, please help me provide Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising with any messages you would like for them to receive. Also protect us with your white light of protection through the tarot. Archangel Michael, please block any negative energy being sent our way. Send it back into the universe, into nothingness. Amen. So, yeah, I uh, originally didn't think I was going to have time to do a bunch of personal readings this week, but the family that I was going to visit is sick. So, getting personals in. COVID killed our Thanksgiving. Thank God I made restaurant reservations for my Thanksgiving tomorrow in advance. I had a plan B. So I'm going to have time to show up for my YouTube family. So I love you guys. Take advantage of it while you can. Okay. Let's see. What messages do we have for Scorpio? What messages do we have for Scorpio? I feel like really for some of you, I feel like spirit, the main message too with that is like you can't control other people's, peepers, people's behavior. So I definitely feel like you've got somebody watching and peeping out the situation, watching right hard. You can't control other people's behavior. You just can't, right? But the biggest message too, or one of the biggest messages that I was getting is that spirit wants you to know. I feel like there's two people here in a situation that have a mutual desire for each other, right? Maybe things haven't been expressed. Um, ooh, Ace of Wands, there's definitely a strong sexual attraction here. Um, chemistry, a lot of sexual chemistry, both on both ends. This is uh, Six of Pentacles, equal give and take. So, you know, um, two people possibly that work well sexually together. There's a lot of chemistry. All right. Um, I feel like you can also, to a certain extent, read each other well, but then we've got somebody watching the hacker. So maybe one of you, maybe the high priestess, maybe one of you is more psychic than the other and the other one's just watching you, figuring you out. The other one just, you just know, like you're intuitive. It's probably the Scorpio side, right? So we're just naturally intuitive. Maybe your person is watching you trying to figure out and you are just like, an anomaly kind of but if you're feeling like something's off I feel like your person is just maybe um I don't know looking at you maybe like there's hmm some of you, I feel like you're so independent. This person is assuming there's somebody else and there's not. Or whatever it is that you do. I just saw the Three of Swords and then the Seven of Pentacles. Like, they're trying to have patience. So somebody's up in their head about something with you. They see happiness with you. They enjoy the time they spend with you. With the Sun card. But there's the energy of... Um, feeling like the Scorpio might be attached somewhere else or feeling like something could get in the way. If it's not a third party, yeah, something could make it fail. Something interfering could make it fail. All right, let's see. Let's just jump into it. Let's do a romance oracle first. What messages do we have for Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising. Okay, so it is safe for you to love, right? Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive in situations. Let's do one more. And deception. Someone is wearing a false mask. Oof. 
in this relationship, somebody is, now if it's not a false mask, it's somebody keeping a secret, you or your person. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally is coming out as well. Hmm. Let's see, I'm not gonna use that, I'm gonna use this deck. All right, Spirit, why do we have deception? Let's just get straight to it. Why do we have deception here showing up for Scorpio? I'm so confused right now, right? Because it's like we have the energy of it's safe for you to love out on the table. To love yourself first, no matter what. Like ultimately, and that was the message that I was getting before, right? Like ultimately, you got to be okay with you no matter what. No matter what happens. It's safe for you to love in a situation. Maybe you've been scared, right? We've got control issues showing up. Um, and deceptive energy, I feel like this has to do with Scorpio, this energy of I'm going to pretend like everything's okay when it's not. I don't feel like it's a deceptive energy on anybody's part. I feel like there's some things going on here in regards to communication that could potentially be like in a deceptive air, but not, I don't want to say like white lies right? Like the energy of like not telling the complete truth. Like if you're just, cause you don't want somebody to know what's completely going on with you. And a part of you, ha it's like, well, I can control how this person thinks of me or views me. If I just pretend like I'm all, I've got it all together. I've got it all together, right? There's nothing wrong. I just feel like it's like, and that was the energy of the last reading. Like I want to win. I want that. I want to give off this energy of perfection. Like I had to start the reading like nine times and it was like, I had to be just right. And that was the vibe that I felt. It was like Scorpio. You felt like if you just have to feel and look perfect in someone's eyes. Um, and there's like a level of like control issues I feel like spirit wants you to know that whatever that is, it's like having a level of some type of control issue within, you know, about feeling like you're controlling something by like living like this when really it can be something that's going to open the door here to some toxic energy, toxic behavior, like being deceptive, right? Like not telling the 100% truth, whether it's negative or positive, right? It's just kind of like, well, feeling like, you're lying about something because, or you're not telling the whole 100% truth because you don't want to worry someone or make them seem like, you know, uh, you don't have it all together all the time. Um, let's see. this devil energy you've got the knight of pentacles and the ten of wands next to that as well what is this devil energy showing up letting go of control 
What else? Ten of Swords in reverse. So maybe like a level of control is going to ruin something for somebody here. You got to let go of the control issues, whatever they are in regards to something. Love yourself no matter what. Let go of control issues. It's safe for you to love in a situation. But like holding on to some level of control issue, whatever it may be, is going to oppress a situation and ruin it. Okay. Is what I'm getting. For some of you, this is just very slow moving. Somebody could have something to do with, somebody could be a chef here. We've got the gourmet chef here. There's something, there's the man in a kitchen. Something's really slow moving. You're gonna have to practice some patience. This has to do with um, the two of pentacles. I mean, excuse me, the two of cups. And for some of you, it's creating, cause I said two of pentacles, creating balance within your life, right? mind body and soul energy like you got to be balanced here like to show up properly in a connection as well um because i feel like there's some level of control here that could even be possibly borderline toxic right now um you've got the energy of being happy and communicating and communication things tur taking turking <laughs> taking sound like i said turkey things taking off fast there could possibly be a lot of communication with you this week through Thanksgiving because I said turkey but like feeling like things are going in a positive direction but then we've got the devil hmm. um so there's a level of control issues for some of you that you need to get past in a situation now the two of you met, may have met online because there's two people on computers here um with this two of cups energy but this is the energy here too of two people here um, that do feel like there, this is a partnership or moving towards, there's fast moving communication here. This is moving in a direction towards a partnership. Okay. What else? The four of wands wanted to come out. Mm. Scorpio wanted to come out, but didn't come out all the way. So for some of you, I feel like, ooh, for some of you, it's like you're looking at somebody here. Um, like this, I see this person, I see the potential, I see possibly like this is somebody I see myself with, 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 right? Um, the star card could be involving an Aquarius, doesn't necessarily have to be, but this is also the energy of you know, prayers being answered in a situation, like feeling like, oh, this is like who I've been waiting for, right? This is the energy of some, this person is like my ideal person. Um, then we've got the eight of swords. And the five of wands. Okay. There's definitely interference here with competition or there has been. Or going back to the other message before I started this reading might currently be somebody's ex in the background playing fighting wanting this person's attention so um, you're gonna have to let go of whatever your control issues are in regards to this okay because if you are feeling this connection you know like you're gonna have to to go with that and flow with it and not get lost in the negative stinking thinking here in regards to reverting back to some toxic behavior. Princess of Swords energy. For some of you, there could be a younger air sign, feminine energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and then Taurus energy with a hair front here. But for some of you here, there's this energy of somebody else is willing to do anything here for this commitment. Now, whether it's you or a person in the background, I feel like Spirit is saying that, you know, be careful because if you're wearing a false mask here, if you feel like the energy of like, I'm okay, say it's you for instance, right? Like I'm willing to do whatever it takes for this connection. Lying to your person, not being 100% truthful at my throat chakra. Truthful about you or your life or what makes you happy here 
like keeping some like level of not like being deceptive a little bit, but I don't feel like it's a bad thing. I feel like it's because there's like, you want to control a situation. It's not going to work out in your favor. You're going to have to be like raw, raw dog you. Like, I don't, I hate to say it like that. That sounds corny, but like just you. And if it's meant to be, it's meant to be, you got to love yourself first, no matter what. Um, Hmm. We've got somebody here that watches you, that sees that you're very independent. They're looking at you like you're a player, kind of. I feel like this is your person. Like they look at you like in this energy of like, maybe that's what it is or something here that's like this very independent energy. There's something about your financial independence that has this person worried you're a player. Like you can't help that anyway. So it could have something to do with what you do for money. The moon card, 10 of cups. There might be some level of this coming out here with the moon, okay? Secrets coming out in regards to that with the 10 of cups. But it's gonna bring balance to a situation. So there might be a conversation in regards to you too, like feeling like you're deceptive, like somebody feeling like you're deceptive here because of some interference or something here going on. If you've got a crazy ex, it could be interfering in the situation. Somebody drinks a lot. Uh, I feel like there's somebody, because of the past reading, connected to this person now. Their past that drinks a lot, that interferes. This person could be all up in this other person's ear, like, oh, she a hoe, or he a hoe, or they, they do this for money. Not what you think. Yeah, here's somebody that has a child. It could be a baby's mother or father. Seven of Wands. So there is a level of needing to also kind of stand up for yourself, protect your energy, whatever things are being said about you that aren't true, right? Also, like, there's nothing you can do about it. Walk away to cups. Like, maybe that's what a decept. There's also could be a, a deceptive energy in the energy because of that and you're going to have to let go of wanting to control that like you, you can't you have no control over what other people are going to say or do right um what other messages oh god all the cards wanted to come out look all and the only one that's flipped upright is the tower i just saw the four swords so think logically scorpio think logically in situations, whatever, like if somebody is trying to come to you and say, oh, your person was with me or your person was here or you're, you know what I mean? Or whatever. I feel like I'm getting that vibe a little bit. Like, you know, I think logically in regards to whatever this is, does it make sense? Can it make sense? I do feel like you've got somebody that's deceptive showing up. Three of Pentacles. For some of you, it was a casual connection somebody was connected to you. Somebody, Page of Cups, again, could have children with this person or a child or three of swords <clears throat> with finisher or just in third party situations, like, or is, puts themselves, involves themselves in third party situations. All right, what other messages do we have? Four of Swords again. So I feel like for some of you, again, think logically about something. You're a three of cups energy, three of wands, the hermit energy could be involving Virgo energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So everything's really out on the table, but it's because over a 10 of cups situation here. So you're going to have to really, I feel like do some soul searching in regards to what it is that you want. 
allowing things to just be taking care of yourself because we do have expansion. We do have the energy of celebrating, right? But there's also energy of like community energy um, of... Let's pull a card while I'm talking about it. Page of Swords. Yeah, somebody showing up in the energy that's kind of watching, <clears throat> may want what you have, whether it's a per like a the person that you're um pursuing. This, you know, there's another interest here, somebody that's interested in what you have. So and this person does like just kind of yeah. It could be a Libra. It doesn't necessarily have to be. We've got Leo, Libra energy, and then the Knight of Swords. Somebody watching a situation. Um, with the Strength card and Justice coming out, things are going to work out in your favor. Just stay strong. I do feel like you're going to be tested a little bit in regards to the situation. Yeah, Four of Swords again. It's come out again. You're going to have to really think about it logically here. Nine of Cups. Be happy with yourself because this is in reverse. Um, you're just going to have to look at the situation differently. You might feel stuck or you might feel like it's stagnant or something, but things are definitely working out in your favor. This deceptive energy here is in reverse and then the Four of Pentacles. Like somebody's not stable. All right, and maybe that's also like that. You gotta be like, you can't um, allow somebody to uh, like oppress. There's a oppressive energy showing up. So allow somebody to try to trigger you or try to get you to respond in some type of way that um, makes you act controlling, makes you act weird, makes you act something here. All right, with this deceptive energy, somebody could be trying to trigger things in you or behaviors in you, behave behaviors in you that cause you to run this person off, like ruin the situation. Maybe you're coming across too dominating or controlling or something. Like I do feel like it's like clever, clever energy here, whatever this energy is. But this person. Um, is stressed out because they see your person happy with you and they want it to fail. Two of Cups. All right, Scorpio. What other messages do we have? Like don't, if you're, if you're feeling like you need to, <sighs> cut yourself off from people here. I feel like Spirit is saying, don't do that. Don't do that. Because I feel like that's what somebody wants you to do in a situation. All right. With the two of swords here, just stay in this energy of, you know, not letting your emotions get the best of you in regards to something here because there is a third party energy interfering energy here that wants to see you upset stressed out but you've got good news coming so like let things just be is what i'm getting the tower in reverse Protect your energy. You have this new beginning here. All right, with the Fool card and the Seven of Wands. So, you know, just protect your energy. Protect what, like, business you're putting out there in regards to you and your person. Or Yeah, because my throat's getting itchy as I'm talking about you and your person, plans, whatever. And also, you know, stay balanced. Temperance energy. Be a little bit more transparent with your person. So, because maybe your person is also really intuitive, they could be picking up on you withholding something from them, right? And it not really being like something bad. It's just not, you're not wanting to burden them with whatever it is you have going on. 
but they feel like it's something else. You see what I'm saying? They can feel it. So maybe the two of you are really connected. And so they're picking up on something and they're not wrong. It's just nothing bad. All right. Star card energy. Six of cups. We've got Scorpio. Aquarius energy, but it's almost like, uh, yeah, I feel like my prayers, like you're a prayer come true, a dream come true to somebody. I know as corny as that sounds, but I'm like, so maybe you not being comp completely 100% you is also kind of throwing off the connection a little bit and it's giving whatever this interfering energy is some like... I want to say like a way to, um, cause I feel like somebody's heavily watching. So it could be giving an interfering energy, like a way to meddle easier, right? With maybe your mind, your person's mind. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Right. This is just a situation. I feel like, unfortunately that is slow moving. I just saw the Knight of pentacles and that's what I got in the reading before for you guys. So, but the world card, there's going to be a positive completion or ending to a situation, all right? So, five of wands is in reverse. Okay, winning, all right? So, I love you guys. I'm gonna leave it there. I hope this message was helpful. I'm gonna try to come back on here a little bit later this evening and do a night shift reading. So, until later, guys, lots and love and light, bye.